Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, hello, how are you? How's everything? How was today? Hi. Was, it, was it an easy day today? Oh, a difficult day. Difficult day. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's right, yeah. always. As always, right? Yeah. yeah, that's part of our daily life, right? To have difficult days, but you know, like some days are more difficult than others nowadays. Yes. But the good thing is that we are at home, like we are safe, right? Tired, but you know, like at home already, and that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to to know. All right, uh, so we're gonna start. So we're gonna wait for the other ones to get connected. Uh, just to start with, you know, like with the class, right? Uh, I think everybody's just getting connected. Yeah, so let's just start over with the things that we're gonna be, you know, like working on tonight. So just give me one second. I'm gonna start with the attendance list just to start with the topic, okay? All right, give me one second. I'm going to scroll this down because I have no system. I am on Thursday. All right, let's start over. It says Andres Joel. Is it here? Okay, no here. Let's move on. Carlos Mauricio. Ah, okay, very good. Give me one second. It is this okay? Let's move. Uh, Cindy Melanie. All right, she's not here. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, very good. Now you don't have problems, Stephanie. Estoy donde una tía aquí no me falla. Ah, o sea que ahora sí, ahora sí ya no va a haber excusa, entonces. Ah, good, man, good. No, es que no me falle. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> ok, that's good. Iván y Ayamilet. Presente, chero. Ah, ok, very good. Let's move. Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline, no, she's not here. Let's move. Joana Saray. Ah, okay, Joana. Jorge Alberto. Okay, so he's not there. Uh, Jose Edgar. Okay, he's not here yet. Juan Emanuel. Ah, okay, very good. Let's move Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar. All right, he's not here yet. Let's move on. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, perfect. Ah, Carla Lisset. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Raquel Stephanie. Ah, okay. Yes. Raquel. Verónica Arely. Verónica, Verónica. All right, she's not connected. Wendy Yamilet. All right, Wendy. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move on. Carlos Josué. Is it Carlos here? No, he's not here. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. I think he's not going to continue because I, I don't have any anything in here. Okay, cool. All right, people. So we're going to start with uh, the main topic that we're going to be discussing for uh, tonight. Tonight, we're going to have a very interesting topic. It's just kind of similar to the one that we were discussing yesterday. Today, we are not going to focus in one structure 
you know, like to talk about. It's going to be a general topic, right? It will be a topic in general. So what does it mean? It means that we are not going to be speaking about any grammatical structure, all right? It's just going to be a topic like the one from yesterday. By the way, what was the topic that we were discussing yesterday for the ones who were connected in the class? Do you guys remember the topic that we were discussing yesterday? What was it? As if you remember. A step to write a formal email. Ah, okay, very good. A steps to write a formal email. Very good. What else do you remember right now that we know the topic that we were discussing? What do you remember about what you know like we were discussing? What do you guys remember? ¿Qué recordamos de todo lo que estuvimos viendo la clase pasada? What were the what were the main points that we were discussing? Tips to write a formal email. Ah, okay. There were the tips to write a formal email. Very good. And in question to discussion. Was the... I am in the, the questions that we were discussing at the beginning. Okay. I am in. That, that, that was part of, 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 of the process. Actually, now we got some, some other questions to discuss. We're going to be discussing some of those things. So I think we're not going to have any problem with that. Then uh, besides that, we're going to have an article to read in that, you know, like in that uh, paragraph. It's explicit the way how we are going to be, you know, like developing this content that we have for tonight. Okay. But you were saying something, William. It says that you that we were talking about the tips about how to write a good formal email. Can you mention one tip that we were discussing yesterday? Only one. One tip. Los demás me van a decir. Don't, don't use all capital letters. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Don't use all capital letters. Remember. When we are writing writing a formal email, we do not use every time, you know, like all the time, capitals, all right? Because that is not formal. Good. Carla, what else we are we discussing as the tips to write a formal email besides the one that William said? Abbreviation. Abbreviation. Yes. Abbreviation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Abbreviation. Yeah. Uh -huh. What happens with abbreviation? Can I use no abbreviation? Tiene... Yes. No tiene que llevar abbreviatura. Ah, it, it cannot go with abbreviation. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, that means that I cannot use, like, for example, for the word please, just P, L, and Z, and that's it. I cannot use that. Ah, okay. So, entonces no puedo usar, si yo le digo, see you, no le puedo usar nada más el verbo sí y ponerle la U. No, lo tiene que poner completo. Mm, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that was one. Thank you, Carla. Uh, ah, okay. Xiomara, can you mention another, you know, like a uh, tip that we were discussing last night? Don't use emoticons. Ah, okay, very good. It's like don't use emojis, right? Basically. So if you are writing a formal email, you're not gonna put you know like smiley faces on the email, right? Especially if the email is for your boss or if the email goes for another company. That would be not not really formal, right? Nah, so that that's that was another one. Thank you, Xiomara. Uh Carlos Mauricio, can you mention another tip that we were discussing last class? Include a polite Ah, okay, that's another one. Thank you, Mr. Include 
a polite salutation. Let's remember that if we are going to write something for our boss or for another company, we have to start with a very polite salutation. What does it mean? That we have to treat the person respectfully, all right? Just by saying good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on the, you know, like the, the time frame that you are writing down the email, all right, at that time. Very good, Carlos. Thank you for, for your participation. Now, uh, Karen, any other one that we were practicing? Proofread the message. Ah, okay, proofread the message. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that is really important. You were sharing, yeah. right? That, some, that, that, that There was one uh, email that you sent that you didn't Hola, include teacher. the attachment. Hello, Carlos. <laughs> Buenas noches, este, voy, voy a ir conduciendo algo lejos de casa, pero voy a ir como oyente, oye. Ok, all right. Gracias, okay. teacher. It's okay, Carlos. Okay, yeah, I mean, like, likely similar, something likely similar happened to me, that I sent an email, but I didn't send the attachment. So I sent the email just with the information from the, from the person, why, why, why was the message, you know, like the attachment about, and that was it, but I didn't include the attachment man that, that was that was that was horrible but anyways you know like you learn from mistakes aprendemos de los errores como dice <laughs> okay cool emmanuel can you mention another one <clears throat> yes uh, we have to use the formal signature at the end of the email so so we have to have the address business. Okay, very good. There you go. That, that's that's very good. Thank you, Manuel. Remember, if you are representing a company, obviously, if you send an email, your name has to go there. Besides your name, you have to include your position in the company, right? To which department you belong to. And also, it has to go the name of the company, the, the address, and, you know, like the direction from the company sometimes. And, of course, your phone number, right? That's a complete package in the signature. But that generally goes at the end, right, of the emails. That is like, you know, to be more formal, because in that case, that is your representation, Okay, when you send an email to another company, All right? That's, that's that was pretty cool. Uh, any other one that we can remember? A ver, hay algún otra otro tip importante que estuvimos discutiendo ayer? Besides the one that we were uh, doing. Teacher, um. Proof for, I was say proof for before uh, after after they send the email. I mean that that's the one that that Karen said that, that you had to proofread everything. That you have to check. Yes, proof yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, proofread is like when you have everything written and then you read again to look for mistakes or yeah. error or errors, right? Yeah, I mean it's that 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 one is really important. Because if you forget something, so you can edit the email so before sending it. So that's why it's very important to do that step, right? Pero por lo general, ese step se hace hasta que ya tenemos todo, right? We have everything included. So in that case, we got that, that you know, like step, right? Okay. So that was part of what we were discussing last class. Now, I bring a very interesting topic, actually. Uh, this, is, this is like kind of, kind of different topic, actually. But it's also related, you know, like to, to, to the things that we, are, that we are discussing. So yesterday we were talking about, you know, like, uh, steps to write down a formal email now the topic is a little bit different but following the same line 
Now, this is the video conference number 14. Remember that. And tonight's topic is going to be, listen up, good etiquette at the workplace. When you listen the word etiquette, what comes to your mind? ¿Qué se les viene a la mente cuando escuchan esa palabra? Etiquette. What do you think is that? Etiquetas. Ah, en what is an etiquette? Etiquetar. <laughs> ah, no, verdad. That's like, 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 uh, tag a person on Facebook or something like that, Carla. <laughs> no, she says no. No, it's not the same, right? It's not the same. No, la mismo. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That <laughs> was funny. Yeah, I mean, imagine las etiquetas cuando lo salen a Carla, right? Comiendo así como con la boca abierta. Y nosotros subiendo las mejores fotos, ¿vale? Right? La verdad es funny. Ya me ha pasado a mí también. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, cool. Now, I mean, etiquettes include everything. Remember, eh, esto, pues, varía dependiendo de la situación o dependiendo de la, de, de, del ambiente en donde estemos. Eh, I mean, the etiquette is for everything. Por lo general, dependiendo del ambiente en donde estemos, así va a ser el tipo de etiquette que podemos optar, que podemos tener, right? Just, just, just to put it like that. All right. So let's start over and let's, you know, discuss a little bit what is this topic about. Before doing that, let's see, let's take a look a little bit about what is the most relevant, you know, like points that we're going to be discussing. Uh, the review from the previous class, that's something that we did already. All right, about the uses of the formal emails, the tips for the formal emails. You know, even yesterday, if you remember, we were creating an email, all right, in which you were, you know, like uh, explaining something to your classmates. All right, then we're going to start uh, right after that, that we already finished, of course. We're going to start now with the good etiquette. What is that? Okay, and how can we interpret this? After that, we're gonna go to the manual because we're gonna do a reading exercise, okay? After the reading exercise, we're gonna check the grammar. What does check the grammar mean? In that case, it's like, you know, look for vocabulary, new vocabulary that you don't know, and it might be in the article. After that, we're gonna work in the manual. We're going to work in some exercises that we got in there. We're going to be answering some questions related to the article that, that is in the manual. So that's pretty much what we are going to be doing the rest of the night. Okay. Let's start with this. Etiquette. That's what it is. And let's start with a couple of questions. All right. Before that, let's start with this. Check this out. Mm -hmm. I need a volunteer to read this, please. Necesito un voluntario que me ayude a leer. Sí. Me teacher. Okay. Go, Mr. Go. The known etiquette describes the requirements of behavior. No. Behaviors. Behaviors according to each aspect of society. 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 Uh, society. Okay, very good. Thank you, William. It says, listen on the noun etiquette, it says, describes the requirements of behaviors according to each aspect of society. All right, what does it mean? Remember, in every aspect of our life, the way we behave is different. For example, you do not act Okay, the same way in your house and in your work. So the behavior that you have in your work is different to the behavior that you have in your house. And the behavior that you have in your house is different with the behavior that you have with your friends, right? So because to your son or your daughter, it's not going to be treated like you treat your, your friend or best friend or whatever you want to you know, like say, so that would be different. That's why it says in every aspect of society. So what does it mean? Eh, básicamente son ese conjunto de requerimientos, okay, 
y, y behaviors son conductas, right? De acuerdo al contexto, alright, social en el que se encuentre. Recuerde, no es lo mismo comportarnos de una forma en el trabajo que comportarnos, o sea, del mismo comportamiento que tenemos en casa, ¿ok? O cuando estamos con amigos, alright? That's that that etiquette is different. So, what is an etiquette in this case? ¿Cómo interpretamos el good etiquette, como dice acá? Básicamente son aquel conjunto de comportamientos que usted opta, the synapse, que usted opta en un determinado ambiente. ¿Ok? So, en el trabajo es un ambiente, su casa es otro, salir con sus amigos es otro, ir a la playa, I mean, that's different, right? So, las formas en cómo usted se va a comportar, that's completely different from one place to another, right? To another. So that it's what it means etiquette, right? All right. When I started listening to this, I thought that etiquette it was just referring to the clothes. All right? Como 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 así como brief brainstorm eh, inicial cuando vi por primera vez este tema, yo pensé que etiquette se refería nada más a la ropa. Que hay muchos que es Sin una línea de etiqueta, por así decirlo, eh, referring to the clothes. But actually, this word is like very, very wide. Es bien amplio y, y pues abarca todo este tipo de aspectos que les he mencionado anteriormente. So that's part of what an etiquette or the etiquette means. Okay, now let's start with this. Look at this. Questions to discuss. Is the word ethical familiar to you? ¿Han escuchado este tema uh, o han escuchado esta palabra antes? Etiquette? Is that familiar to you? Me gustaría escuchar algunos de ustedes, así voluntariamente. Y no pointing out. Have you ever heard the word etiquette before? Is that familiar to you? ¿Se les hace familiar o es primera vez que escuchan la palabra etiquette? Yo nunca la había escuchado. Igual really? yo la escuchado. Really? This is the first time? Ah, okay. Yeah, first time. All right, let me see for the other ones. Emmanuel, is this your first time listening to this word? I I think in a uh, habit, for example, when you are eating in a public, uh, you must be in a good habit, for example. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's like an habit. A habit. Uh huh. It, 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 it's kind of similar to that. All right. Cool. Let me see. Carlos Mauricio, have you ever heard this word before? ¿Alguna vez habéis escuchado esta palabra? Ah. Uh, I don't listen to you, mister. Ah, uh, ser eh tiene 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 el audio activado, mister, porque sí, no, 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 me pareció que habló, pero. ¿Es el word de audio, mister? Eh, ¿Será que no tiene activado el, el micrófono? Puso ahí el de que tenía problemas con el micrófono. Pues. Ah, let me see. Ah, ok. All right. Ya, me, what you should do is like, fíjese donde tiene el botoncito ese de, del, del que parece micrófono. Eh, dele la flechita hacia arriba y ahí puede configurarlo. Right? 
Pues, puede, puede elegir ahí el micrófono que, 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 que tiene conectado. Si no le funciona el audio, ok, lo que puede hacer es desconectese de la sesión y vuelve a entrar. Por lo general, a veces, ese tipo de problemitas suelen darse en Zoom. En algunas ocasiones que no funciona mucho el micrófono. O a veces la cámara. Right? That's what you can do. Yeah, because in the future, we, we're going to need your participation. Carla, in your case, Carla, have you ever uh, heard this word? ¿Has escuchado esta palabra antes? No, teacher. Really? This is the first time? Ah, ok, that's pretty interesting. So that's, that's in that case, I'm going to start from, from, from the bottom with you guys. And let me ask the last one. Michelle, how about you? No, es primera vez. Ah, ok. Ok, cool. So let's start over with that. All right. We're going to depart from that. Okay. Check this out. Mention it says two rules of etiquette at your workplace. And are these rules important? Listen up. Teniendo en cuenta, o sabiendo que ya sabemos un poco, right? Valga la redundancia. Que la good etiquette o the etiquette es básicamente todas aquellas reglas que nosotros tenemos que seguir de cierto modo. Ok. Eh, like that, like that. Can you, can you mention at least one, not two, at least one etiquette to follow up in your company? For example, in my company, a good etiquette is that all the teachers have to arrive at the workplace 10 minutes before the class start. All right, that's a rule. That's a rule of etiquette in my workplace. All right, in my case, tengo que estar 10 minutos antes de, de mi inicio de clases, right? So, básicamente estamos hablando de 650 to be there. So, that's a good etiquette, all right? That's a uh, rule of etiquette in the place where I work. Now, guys, can you mention one in your workplace? The one from your workplace? Me. All employees use the ID or carnet. No, ah, ID okay. o carnet. No, in this case is ID. Uh -huh. ID. Entonces sería all employees use the ID. Ah, okay, very good. All, all right. The, all ah. the time during the durante la jornada laboral. Ah, during during the the work time. Uh -huh. mm, okay, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. That's one. Okay. All right. Me teacher. Okay, William. In my company, uh, star. A meeting, a feasting during five or two ten minutes. Mm, okay, cool. Every right, day. That's every, that's every day. Yeah. Right, so that becomes in a in a in part of a roulette no, from etiquette. Okay. Uh, before after the, the start, el el día a día. No sé cómo le puedo decir de. I mean the daily story. life. That's part of the yeah. daily life. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, William. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Karen. Follow um, ethic code. Mm -hmm. Un código de ética. Uh -huh. Follow up the code, the, the ethic, ethic code. I am in this, the ethic code. Okay, cool. So you got a code from there. Okay, and I guess they are very strict on that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes those type of uh, companies are very serious with those type of things, right? Yeah, I mean, I know. Okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. Somebody else? Anybody else wants to participate? Okay, because if you don't participate, I will make you participate. <laughs> Let me see. We got three people in here. Ivania.
Are you there, Ivania? Yeah. Um, the company. Uh -huh. is... ¿Cómo que se dice prohibido? Uh -huh. Pro prohibido. Um, okay. Is prohibited. The cell phone in the office. Ah, okay. I'm going to put it in the chat for you to know how to write that. Uh, yes. And the cell phone is during the work time. Okay, it will be like this. Look, the cell phone is prohibited in the office during work time. So it means that during you're working in there, the cell phone is prohibited. Okay. All right, that's part of the rules, right? There you go. Thank you, Ivania. Uh, help me out with that, Michelle. Um, the vestimenta, teacher. Okay, the dressing code. Sí, hay un código de ética donde mencionan cómo debemos de vestir. La presentación es muy importante. Okay. Porque muchas veces vemos a clientes, eh, estar puntual. Ah, okay. Y seguirlo como otro punto que, que también todos debemos de seguir es como el es eh, como se llama cuando ya hay como algo una forma de contestar a los clientes no sé cómo se dice no, como un es? script algo así ah ok <risa> yes, okay. I mean that, that, that is likely similar to the call, to call centers y hay un script para la forma hasta para saludar Right, la, la forma hasta para despedirse. You have to follow up on the script. Okay. That's cool, man. That's, that's interesting in a summer. Somehow. Okay, cool. Thank you, Michelle. All right. The last participation. Carla. Um, la vestimenta, la presentación. Uh, all right, there's a dressing code. Uh -huh. okay. La presentación uh -huh. y en la forma que uno habla con el cliente. Uno tiene que tener mucho, mucho cuidado. Really? Yes. You don't have to raise your voice? No. Ah. What happens if you raise your voice? Ponen reclamo y a nosotros nos cae como una acción de personal. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Ustedes igual están con, con I mean, siendo supervisados por control de calidad, ¿no? Yes. All your, like, on, on the cell phone, I mean, everything, they, they, they can listen that. No que nos controlen las llamadas, sino que el jefe o el supervisor que está en el área está pendiente cuando uno ya empieza a levantar la voz, ya dice, hey, tranquila. Ah. Cosas así. Uh -huh. <risa> cuando el cliente está bien especial, right? yes. él, le dice, él le dice, no voy a pagarle y no voy a pagarle. <risa> ok. Nada más que yo estoy lejos del jefe y del supervisor. Ah, <laughs> puede intimidar, entonces ahí usted. Okay, interesting. Sí. <laughs> I don't know why, man, pero no veo intimidando a la gente, Carla. You don't have that face. You don't have that face. You don't have that face, man. You don't have that face. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, let me see. Okay. It says, is etiquette important in your daily life? What do you think, guys? 
do you think is important on your daily life? And if so, why? Why do you think this type of uh, etiquette, you might say, it might be important in your daily life? ¿Por qué creen que tener buena etiqueta, por así decirlo, es importante en su vida diaria? As professionals, as workers, you know, like as individuals, why do you think it's important? Let me see, I would like to listen some participation for you guys. At least the ones that have not participated that much. Uh-huh. Any volunteers? Uh -huh. Okay. I think that is important in our professional and personal daily life. Ah, okay. For example, be grateful, be kind. Mm, okay, very good. So basically, having a good etiquette, you can describe yourself or show the person that you are to the to other people right because if you're kind if you're if you're like helping people so in that case you can be treated as a good person right okay i got your point thank you karen any other participation somebody else uh, it's important teacher Uh -huh. en, en de person eh, que okay. no sea digamos una person funny no sé si es correcto la palabra o alguien que sea como bayunquito pues podemos decir que no sea para ganarse el respeto a la gente que si muy bien annoying person ¿eh? annoying person esos que siempre van a salir con una tontera como dice <risa> Lo que, cómo sería la palabra porque por ejemplo si alguien digamos por ejemplo, un jefe uh -huh. que siempre dice las cosas como bromeando, como no nada serio, entonces como que no le tienen como mucho respeto. Dicen, eh, es suave el, el jefe. Ah, ok. Right. Entonces, yo, la palabra correcta que no, but, le quedara but, a eso, ¿cómo sería? But, but that, in that case, William is like a flexible person. Because if I don't trust, <laughs> if I don't, you know, produce the trust on my employees, It means that I'm flexible, right? That's completely... Uh, uh, that's like, flexible. Uh -huh, I mean, that's completely different. But if I am the type of person that make jokes and sometimes with people that I shouldn't make jokes, that would be... Or I, I, I will become an annoying person. Okay. All right? I will be an annoying person. Yes, okay. Yeah. En todos lados caen mal, como dicen. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, that would be annoying. Ok. Cool. Any other participation? Wanna listen to one more participation before me, we move. Me gustaría escuchar una participación más antes de pasar a la siguiente eh, diapositiva. Any participation for you guys? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Emmanuel, you got something to, to say? Not anything is not there. All right, somebody else, Andres, something to say, Mister? Okay, cool. Let me see another person. Might be e e e Michelle. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to compensate a Michelle who didn't participate yesterday. Ya dijeron las que iba a decir. Okay, okay. Uh, but something else, something else that you want to include for us. Eh, bueno, en mi caso, 
y es para dar una buena impresión a los clientes. Aunque a veces es bien difícil. Porque los dice? clientes salen con unas cosas bien raras. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes, yeah, they, they, they. In that case, people who work with clients, they can realize that there is a lot of clients, there are different type of clients. Ah, yeah, man, and it's stressing, stressing. Pero ahí es donde nos dicen, hay que seguir el script, aunque, aunque le esté gritando el cliente. Ay, a mí ya me han gritado varias. You know what? <laughs> lo fa, lo, sí. No, pero lo bueno es que se hace inmune a veces. Y a veces ya cuando ya tienen tiempo y le están grite y grite, y está así como que, vea, ah, that's normal for you. Sí. <laughs> ya, yeah, ya por eso siempre he dicho que no hay nada. Nada, nada, digamos, nada más difícil que trabajar en atención al cliente, por ejemplo, o customer service. Eso es ah, súper estresante. Eh, ya, me ni se los digo. Una que, gran paciencia. Ya, me ni se los digo que estuve 10 meses como un customer service, attending people from the States, atendiendo personas de Estados Unidos. Ah, that's horrible. They're so special, son bien especiales. But anyways, that's part of the process, you know. It's super part of the process. Okay, cool. Let's continue with this. Check this out, people. We got some vocabulary words, uh, you know, like applied as a good etiquette. We're going to be discussing more in the manual. In here, I just got some that you already know. For example, the word thank you. When you do something, okay, or somebody else do something to you, remember, it's, it's, I mean, it costs nothing, it costs nothing to say thank you, right? If somebody help you to do something, right? It costs nothing to say thank you, all right, for everything. Say like that, we got please. When you ask for a favor, all right, it, it, it is essential for you to say please at the moment of requesting something, right? That please remember in Spanish is like el por favor, right? It's como parte importante el momento de solicitar algo o pedir algo a alguien más, right? And that's, that's just being or trying to be polite, remember. Besides that, what else do we got? Excuse me, that's another one, right? Cuando vamos a, 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 a inmiscuirnos en una conversación or, or something, right? We're asking permission to do something o cuando pedimos permiso para hacer algo, right? That's completely different. Okay. It looks like nice to meet you. Let's remember when we meet new people, it would be good for you guys to have a good presentation, right? And do things like this. All right. Or when you're using a computer, right, that is not yours, you can say, may I use this computer? Like, ¿puedo usar esta computadora? All right. Using may, generally, it's like when we are requesting something very formal, right? Using may is like very formal. Okay. So, may y can, por lo general, creo que ya vimos can algunas, en algunas ocasiones. Ah, can es como para mencionar habilidades o, digamos, eh, solicitar algo, right? Eso es como poder. May eh, viene siendo lo mismo, poder. Solo que may es más formal, ¿ok? May es más formal. Me refiero a cuando solicitamos algo, ¿ok? That's completely different. So may, cuando usamos may es más formal. Remember that. Okay, expressions like good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, goodbye, all right, good to see you, and, and, and a lot of words, a lot of words that are, okay, and they have to be part of our etiquette as professionals, you know, like as we are, so we, we should include them. 
into, you know, like into the vocabulary list that is, you know, proper from, from us, All right? Okay, so that, 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 that was pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. That was pretty much what I wanted to show you. Now, what are we going to do? We're gonna be working in some things related to this topic, okay? But for that, we're gonna, you know, like go to the manual and we're gonna work in there. What are we going to do specifically in the manual? We're gonna be working in a series of things that are in there and we're gonna start with a reading. If you have printed the manual, let's go to page 35, 35. That's the page that we are going to be working. I'm gonna project it in here for the ones who doesn't have the PDF. Check this out. This is the article I was talking about uh, right after when we started the class. It says, listen, we have an indication in here. It says, read the article on your workplace, okay? Or read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. And it says, then identify, listen up, identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. What happened? We're gonna read the whole information. We will read. And after the reading, the paragraph is big. Look, it's big. After the reading, we have some questions. Check this out. We have some questions. Yeah, I mean, we have four questions related to the paragraph. But what are we going to do with this, people? Listen up. In here, I am going to read it once. Lo voy a leer una vez, okay, with everybody. Vamos a leer todos juntos. Lo pueden hacer ustedes con el micrófono apagado, porque de esa manera, pues, ustedes se familiarizan con el vocabulario que tiene eh, todo el, 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 el artículo, por así decirlo. Luego, me van a ayudar en la lectura. Lo vamos a volver a leer, pero en esta, en, en, en esta otra ocasión lo vamos a hacer de manera uh, parcial. ¿Cómo así? Me van a leer cada uno un fragmento, ¿ok? De todo el artículo. Para ello necesito saber quiénes son los que estamos activos, los que tienen la cámara apagada. Please. So, así me evito de estarlos llamando y que no me contesten. Just, just, just to be like that. Who are the ones that are in there? ¿Quiénes son los que están como oyentes? Bueno, los que no están como oyentes ahorita. Jacqueline, are you there? As a listener, or you can, you can participate? Uh, I mean, that's that's what I'm talking about. Raquel, you participate, or you're gonna be as a listener. Okay, Joanna. Yeah, I mean, in your case, you're as a listener. I know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, Raquel didn't answer. Andres. All right, Andres, are you there? Okay, I guess he's not there. Okay, Jose Edgar is, is a solicitor and Cindy is working. All right, but Jacqueline didn't answer. Uh, Carlos Mauricio, could you fix the problem? Podemos arreglar el problema? Ahorita, ahorita creo que sí ya me puede escuchar, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, now okay. yeah. I listen okay. to you perfectly. Okay, very good. So actively, so I got, let me see, two, four, six, eight, nine people. Well, just worrying. It's nine people. Okay. So we're gonna start over. All right, let's start with the reading. You can read carefully. Listen up. Si tienen el, prácticamente si tienen este, how can I say this? Si tienen el manual impreso y, y tienen alguna duda con respecto a alguna palabra, lo que pueden hacer es subrayarla. 
y al final, ok, al final de la lectura me hacen saber qué palabras son esas que ustedes, pues, eh, son desconocidas para ustedes, ok. Si no lo tienen ahí, lo que pueden hacer es escribirlas en su cuaderno, right? And at the end, I am going to give you the meaning of every word, right? Okay, let's start over. I will go slow because I want you to practice, okay? Iré despacio porque sí, y me gustaría que con el micrófono apagado ahí ustedes pudieran practicar también. It says, listen up. Good etiquette at the workplace. It says, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines. But the most important, but the most important is to be punctual, is to be punctual to your office. If you are late, if you are late because you have an emergency because you have an emergency that is okay that is okay however however habitual late commerce habitual late Commerce are never appreciated. Are never appreciated in any organization. In any organization. If you get to your office, if you get to your office on time, on time you show you show that you are responsible that you are responsible and you and you respect the organization respect the organization If you know, if you know that you will be late, that you will be late, then a good etiquette, then a good etiquette guideline, guideline will be to call will be to call the concerned authority the concerned authority up, and report the reason and report the reason why you are late okay let's make it Etiquette is also important. Etiquette is also important when you have when you have to communicate to communicate with employees with employees or clients let me see I suppose I'm not or clients in any part in any part of the world of the world in those cases in those cases it is necessary It is 
necessary to have good knowledge. To have good knowledge of the workplace. Of the workplace. Email etiquette. Email etiquette of other countries of other countries in the official emails is up in the official emails you need to mention you need to mention the subject clearly the subject clearly and be concise, I mean concise, sorry, and be concise. You also need, you also need to include, to include all the important details, all the important details. You should use you should use formal and grammatically formal and grammatically correct language correct language for email okay. for emails now let's go down let's go down it says in addition in addition, knowledge of cell phone, listen up, knowledge of cell phone, I mean, this is the same, cell phone, cell phone, etiquette in the workplace is very essential, is very essential, all right? We have to speak, we have to speak on the telephone, on the telephone at some point, at some point during our daily work, during our daily work. Be polite. Be polite. When you talk, when you talk to your employees, to your employees or your supervisors or your supervisors. Listen to what they say Listen to what they say carefully, all right, carefully, and do not interrupt, and do not interrupt, be sure your voice is clear, be sure your voice is clear, when you speak to avoid when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation wrong interpretations it says listen up etiquette etiquette guidelines guidelines are important are important even when you are celebrating, even when you are celebrating with your co-workers, with your co-workers, if you get, if you get a call when you are eating, when you are eating, say, excuse.
excuse me excuse me and then and then receive the call receive the call do not talk loudly do not talk loudly while eating while eating and remember and remember to close your mouth to close your mouth when you chew when you chew you should remember you should remember that your behavior that your behavior and manners and manners are under observation are under observation following etiquette guidelines following etiquette guidelines can play can play a very vital role a very vital role right for future promotion for future promotions okay very good from the whole article people do you have any question with that bien ahora que ya tenemos el article leído tenemos alguna pregunta en cuanto a vocabulario en cuanto a pronunciación or things like that yo lo tengo bastante ok cool let's start over vaya al principio dice que qué significa esa palabra que en la instrucción literal b Ah, the key details. Key details means uh, detalles eh, claves, por así decirlo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. O detalles no, más entendí. importantes. Eh, la palabra had, H, A, D. Ese es el pasado del verbo have, que significa tener. Ah, pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Commerce, teacher, ¿qué es? Commerce. Comerse, ¿se escribe? Ajá. ajá. Comercio. Sin ir al final. Uh -huh. Comercio. Eh, however. Ah, no, no, no. Give me, give me one second. Give me one second. Uh, you're talking about this one? ¿Usted está hablando de esta palabra? Sí, esa es una. ¿Y qué dijo que era comercio? No, 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 no. Esta no, esta no. Esta es diferente. Commerce significan las personas cuando, va, por, por así decirlo, late commerce se refiere a las personas que llegan tarde al trabajo. Ok, late commerce. commerce. Commerce viene de la palabra come, de venir, llegar. Ok. Exactly. So, pero cuando ya le agrega la R, la R, perdón, en este caso, ya se convierte en la persona. Ya no es la acción, sino que se convierte en la persona. Ok. Yes. However. 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 Uh -huh. However significa sin embargo. Sin embargo. También otra, pero no, no me, la pronunciación me cuesta. A ver, Juan. Que... Ay, no, ni pronunciarla puedo, lo voy a escribir. Ok. Ok, All right, let's do it. Vaya, ahí la mandé. <laughs> knowledge. Listen up. Knowledge. ¿Qué significa? Knowledge means conocimiento. No ley, no ley, yeah. algo así. Conocimiento. That is knowledge.
Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra? Hola. Uh, Michelle, yeah. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra que usted tenga? Michelle. Teacher. Bueno, en, en lo que viene, regreso. <risa> yes. eh, lo, lowly. Loudly. 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 Uh, ok, loudly es de manera elevada, por así decirlo. Alguien. Por ejemplo, si estamos hablando de speak loudly, es como hablar de manera eh, fuerte, alto. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Eso es más que todo aplicada a, a, a producción de sonido, ¿ok? Cuando hablamos, cuando nos expresamos o cuando estamos escuchando algo. So, loudly es como más fuerte, por así decirlo. Y the word behavior. Ah, behavior. Uh, behavior, behavior es conducta. Conducta. Ah, la, ah conducta, ok. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. That's conducta. ¿Alguna otra palabra que tengamos que sea desconocida? En la de guidelines, tengo mis dudas. No sé si son este como, bueno, no, la verdad que tengo líneas de guía, no sé. Gu guidelines son como pautas, guías. Guías a pautas, mm -hmm. ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Digamos, en términos generales, como pasos a seguir, right Sobre algo. That's what it is. Something else? ¿Alguien más? Ivania, Xiomara, Carla. La, la, la palabra grown. La teacher. ¿Qué palabra, Carlos? Give me one second. I got, I got Carlos. Uh, I want to participate. Grom. Where is that? ¿O podría deletrármela, por favor? Doble, w. Uh -huh. R O N G. Grom. Ah, grom es. Eh, se puede utilizar de diferentes maneras, pero eh, grom es equivocarse. O equivocado en este caso. Si alguien le dice, Carlos, you are wrong, estás equivocado. Wrong. Exactly. That's what it is. Ok, en, eh, en la primera, en el primer párrafo, Ajá. donde dice, no lo puedo pronunciar, Luis <risa> okay. de Lines. Guidelines. Ah, es justamente lo que estábamos hablando de Williams. Guidelines. Guidelines. Yeah, this one. Guidelines. Ok, ¿eso qué significa? Es como pautas o pasos a seguir. Pauta. Ok. Está la otra que dice. Ap no lo puedo decir. Apreciate. Dead? Appreciation or appreciate which one? Appreciation. Okay, see, so it's appreciate. Appreciate is appreciar. Appreciation is like more appreciation. Appreciation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? All right. Something else? Alguna otra palabra? For the rest of the people. Essential. Essential es como Essential? importante, importante, o principal, por así decirlo. Importante. Importante, principal. Careful. 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 Careful es como cuidadoso, cuidadosa. Interruf. Room. Which one? Interrupt. Interrupt it, it viene del verbo interrumpir.
Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra? ¿Los demás? No, solo eso. Ah, ok. Ahora si no hay más que preguntar, voy a preguntarles yo, people. ¿Qué significa in addition? Adicional. Eh, en adicional. Ok, adicional. O también es bien común utilizarla como además de. In addition to. In addition of. Además. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I think uh, the rest of the Teacher. vocabulary is pretty cool for you. Uh -huh. Audority is auditoria. Where is that? Audority. Uh, au au audority. No sé si se pronuncia, no sé. Let me see. What what paragraph is that? El primer, first first paragraph. First paragraph. Give me one second. I'm gonna he said, up. be too cold, the console. This a guideline will be to call the console authority. The first paragraph, this one, you hear? Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, authority. Ah, you mean this one, authority? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. authority means autoridad. Authority, okay, okay. Autoridad. Yes. Thank you. Aquí es, es una expresión de hecho, mire, dice, will be called to the concerned authorities. Ah, like, se llamarán a las autoridades con, con correspondientes, por así decirlo. Right, that's what it means. It goes on a phrase there. Okay, and that's what it means. So, any other, uh, any other question, guys? ¿Alguna otra duda con respecto a vocabulario, pronunciación o no? Ok. So, I must, I must. Ok, the doc that everything is clear with you. Ok, if everything is clear, listen up. I'm just going to stop for a moment in here and I'm going to press the second attendance piece. Just give me one second, guys. Then we're going to continue with this. Andres Joel. Andres. Okay. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Cindy Melanie. Give me one second. Okay. Oh, man, this is crazy. Okay, so she's there. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Michel. Eh, ya no volvió Michel. <laughs> All right. Y se suponía que estaba con buen internet. Quien tuvo problemas me, me acaba de escribir. <laughs> Otra vez. <laughs> oh my God. Sobre Giselle. All right. Iván y Yamilet. Present. Ok, very good. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay, cool. Let me see, Joanna Saray. I am in this Okay, cool. Jorge Alberto. All right, he's not here. Uh, Jose Edgar. I am in his name. He's there. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, very good. Julio Cesar. He's not here. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, very good. Let's see. Carla Lisette. Present. Very nice. Raquel Stephanie. 
Alright, she's not there, but only Carly. Present. Okay, very good. Wendy Yamilet. She is not here. Give me one second. It says William Ernesto. Present. Okay, very good. Wendy not here. All right. Uh, Siomar Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Carlos Josue. Present teacher. Very good. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. It's just not here. Okay, cool. Let's continue with this. Cool. Yeah. What are we going to do now? We're going to do what I told you to do. We are going to read it one by one. Okay. And guess who's the first one? El primero va a ser el que me aparezca en la lista. Okay, from here, the first one. We're going to go on a line. And the first one is, ah, I mean a lady. It's a lady. Let me see. Who is it? Ah, Carla. Yeah, you're the lady. Let's go, Carla. Help me out. Let's just start with oh. good etiquette at the workplace. Good etiquette at the workplace. Mm -hmm. Hasta donde, teacher? Yo le voy a decir, no se preocupe. Ah, okay. There are many workplace etiquette. Guidelines. Guidelines, but the most import, important uh -huh. is to be punctual uh -huh. to work office. If you are late, because you say uh -huh. an emerging, emerging, have an em emergency, emergency, that is okay. Uh -huh. However, however, ha however, mm -hmm. habitual, okay, ha habitual, habitual, uh -huh. late. Uh -huh. Commerce are never uh -huh. appreciated. Appreciation. No, listen up. Appreciated. 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 Very good. In any organization. Okay. In any organization. In any organization. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Xiomara, help me out. Uh -uh. Thank you, Carla. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Okay. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna move this down. William, can you help me out to continue? Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In that case, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. Wow. In the oh, okay. no, yeah. yeah, continue, continue, continue. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clear, clearly, and be concise. You also need to include all the important de details. Details. Okay, detail. You should use formal and grammary, grammatical, grammar, grammatical correct language for emails. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, William. That was nice. Let me see who's next. Mm -mm -mm. Ivania? In addition, no rating, 
the telephone exists in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a boy ground interpretation. Okay, very good. Inter ground interpretations. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Elia. Give me one second. Okay. Good. Veronica, help me out to continue. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you show. Okay, you show listen, listen, listen. When you show. When okay. you show. Okay. When you show. Okay. You okay. should remember that your. I use a palabra, no sé Behavior. Como. Behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future prom prom promotions. Promotions, okay, very good. So basically we got ended up with that part. Now, what are we gonna do guys? Listen up. We got that reading, okay? Tenemos ese reading. Now, uh, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle is there. Ya regresé. Very good, Michelle. Now, can you please help me out with this, this series of questions, this question and this series of answers, please? Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Listen up. Vamos a escoger la respuesta que mejor eh, se acomode a la pregunta que nos está haciendo ahí o, eh, digamos, eh, en algunos casos que nos pregunta, que mejor complemente. Ok, that sentence. Michelle, could you please read number one? Eh... Uh... If you know you are late, you should. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Yo pienso okay. que es... Lea, lea, la, lea las opciones primero, Michelle. Ok. Ay, yo mi respuesta. <laughs> <laughs> lea sus opciones, lea las opciones y luego da su respuesta, no problema. Ok, bueno. If you know you are late, you should. A compens compensate. No okay. Sé si compensate. Compensate the time. Ajá. Uh -huh. We call the person. Person. Call. Call, call the person. Call the person you report to, and see not do anything about it. Not do anything about it. Okay. Which one would you choose? Uh, compensate the time. Hmm. The time that that's gonna be up to you. Eh, los demás, ¿cuál tienen ustedes? Remember that. Right. Right. Related to the article. Compensate the time too. Ah, somebody else. ¿Qué tienen los demás? I want to show. You're at home? Finally. Ah, oh, good, man. Good. Yeah, man, it took you like, like one hour to get home. Okay, good. Uh huh. So, compensate the time, and that's it. Okay, it says compensate the time, call the person you report to, or do not do anything about it. Okay, in a somehow, you can compensate the time, right? Yeah, okay. Another thing, if something happened to you, you can call the person you report to, right? Si eso una vez que ha pasado, 
lo más, lo más, lo más eh, que pueden hacer también es call the person you report to y explicar las razones del por qué usted you know, like a uh, estar tarde, por así decirlo. The reason why you are late. Very good. Verónica, can you please read number two? What is a tip to play in official emails? Send the mail in English. Uh -huh. Use a long sal salutation. Uh -huh. Express the subject clearly. <laughs> Which one would you choose? Sí, creo. Let us see. Ok, ¿alguien más? ¿Tienen let us see o tienen algún otro más? Porque Verónica says let us see. Let, let us see, aunque tengo duda en la letter A. <laughs> Send the email in English. Ah, pero si la, la empresa no, no, no habla en inglés. <laughs> Definitely defini let us see. Okay, so definitely it's letter C. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, so let's continue. Mm -mm. Let me see who can help me out with that. All right, uh, let me see. Carlos Mauriz. Let's read the next one, mister. Which is not got the etiquette when talking on the phone. Ah, okay, very good. Read the possible options. Which is not. What we can do, it says. What is not a good etiquette when we talk on the phone, all right? La like a call. Lea las opciones, por favor. Speak using clear voice. Mm -hmm. Interrupt the other speaker. Use polite language. Okay. Which one would you choose, Carlos? A, B, or C? B. B? B. Okay. Los demás, ¿qué tienen? Is he correct? Yes or no? Yo tengo B también. You got B too? Okay. Yeah. Acceptable. Letter B. Yeah, I mean, that's the one. Letter B. That's the most appropriate one. Es el más apropiado. Okay, and number four. Help me out, William. If you receive a call while eating, with a worker, you should uh, be as well as a uh, as call. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, little, little, uh, little B. Ah, okay. Let me see. Letter B. That's what you got. And how about the other ones? If you receive, what happened here? Give me one second. What happened to this? Ah. Give me one second, guys. I don't know what I touched. Uh, this one. Okay, you got in here. If you receive a call while you are eating with coworkers, you should uh, ignore the call and continue eating. I ignore la llamada y continuar comiendo, right? Answer the call at the table. Responder la llamada en la mesa. Leave the table and answer the call. Ah, like irse de la mesa y responder la llamada. So which one do you have, William? ¿Cuál me decía que tenía? 
In my case, <laughs> let it be. Eh, independent the, the place. <laughs> Porque si es una meeting de boss y hay another people, sería letter C. Ok, I mean, that might be letter C. So, en este caso, como dice, if you receive a call while you're, you're eating with the co-workers, mientras come con sus compañeros de trabajo. All right? So, in this case, more than one possible answer is possible. You know, like, for example, ignore the call and continue eating. Sería una forma very respectful de poder eh, hacerlo. Why? Porque usted, pues, pues, digamos que está en su hora de comida y pues, after lunch time, podrían, podrían responder las llamadas o podría, you know, like, like talk on the phone. That would be one. Uh, para muchos se les considera como un tanto descortés levantarse y responder una llamada cuando se está comiendo o responder ahí mismo. All right? That, 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 that's why I consider the number, uh, in number four, letter A is the most appropriate one. All right? That would be the most appropriate one. Okay, cool. Now, it says, uh, summarize five etiquette guidelines from the article. We're gonna do this, but together with this. What are we gonna do here? Listen up. Ahora vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad. Siempre relacionado con lo de good etiquette and all those things. Listen up. Dice, your turn. Su turno. Pair work. You are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance or alliance, in this case. Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Supongamos que ustedes son enviados por su empresa hacia otra empresa que quieren conformar una alianza. Ok, cool. En la cual ustedes tienen que conocer de lleno, por así decirlo, el funcionamiento de esta empresa, en everything. Conocer sus empleados, right? relacionarse con ellos, en everything. Cool. Dice acá, write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Ok. What does it mean? Acá básicamente lo que nos está pidiendo es que escribamos un pequeño manual. Ok. Listen up. Un pequeño manual en la cual ustedes indiquen, indiquen a sus compañeros qué es lo que deben hacer cuando ya estén ahí. All right? Como una pequeña serie de pasos. Ok. Like a series of steps. Por ejemplo, ya tenemos una parte acá. Look. Greet everyone in the facilities. Saludar a todos en las sucursales. You see? That would be one rule of etiquette. Ahora bien. ¿Cuáles son esos que ustedes agregarían? All right. Entonces acá tenemos seis espacios. Bueno, un, uno ya está, ya está lleno. Ok. Esos ustedes los van a sacar, ya sea del artículo que hemos estado leyendo anteriormente o de, tem de manera o criterio personal. Ok. You can provide that one. So, si William trabaja con Carla, so Carla le va a elaborar un guideline, okay, or manual to William, and then William will do the same with Carla, right? Simplemente para dar a conocer de mejor manera el lugar de donde ustedes trabajan. Okay? Cool. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna pregunta? En mi caso me siento algo perdido, como tú sabes que no he estado en clase. No he entendido muy bien. Ok, no, no problem, ya le voy a explicar un poco cómo se van a hacer las cosas y de qué se ha estado hablando, ok? No problem. Good. All right. Bien, si no tenemos nada más que agregar entonces o preguntar, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Give me one second. And now I am going to create, you know, the people, uh, the breakout rooms with the people that are going to work. Give me one second. Uh, create, no, 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 this manual. All 
All right, just give me one second. I'm assigning the groups in here. Give me one second, people. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. Give me one second, people. Okay, good. So I got them filled. Now, let's open all the rooms, please, and let's go to work. We'll have a series of, of, of minutes just to complete that task. Let's go, people. Please turn uh, turn on the breakout rooms, please. Michelle, are you there? Hola. Hi. ¿Con quién me tocó? Number five. Give me one second. Ahorita la mando. Vaya. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to here. Tiene que hacer en su trabajo. Ahí está el teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. No, uh, okay, we, uh, no sé si has visto leer el, el, el párrafo que estábamos leyendo sobre good etiquette. Más o menos, como, como venía manejando, no puedo estar pendiente. Okay, good. Eh, el tema era básicamente etiquette. Ok, etiquette, good etiquette. Aquí es básicamente cuando nos referimos a los comportamientos que nosotros tenemos, ya sea en el trabajo, en la casa o en otro lugar. Recuerde que básicamente usted se comporta de una forma en su trabajo y se comporta de otra forma muy distinta cuando está en casa. Entonces a eso se le conoce como good etiquette. Las formas o las disciplinas, las conductas que usted lo hacen ser una mejor persona, right? Es como usted se identifica ante los demás. All right. So, básicamente es como usted. Uh, sí, en, el en, el ejemplo, en el ejemplo es como lo que nos, ten, nos dijeran qué hacer si vamos como el suponer a lo que nos mencionó del ejemplo. Exactly. Por ejemplo, vaya. Usted le va a hacer a, a, al de Carlos. Usted le va, a hacer, le va a hacer como la lista de cosas que Carlos tiene que hacer y él las tiene que cumplir. Right? Usted lo va a hacer y él lo tiene que cumplir. For example, uno de ellos es uh, like greet, greet all the personal in the facilities, right? Just like saludar a todo el personal en las sucursales. Uh, do not eat on working time. Ah, no comer en horarios laborales. You see, like things like that. Entonces son that is smart. Y Carlos Arilano. Exactly. Hola. Okay. Por ejemplo, que diga, don't use your cell phone on the site. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, yeah. Exactly. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay.
Yo tengo unas, pero no sé si están bien. Help me, please. <risa> ok. No sí. sé si la escribí bien, aquí, pero ajá. Te, aquí, aquí le estoy preguntando todo a, a Carla, como ya cada ratito se me ha estado sacando el internet. ¿no? Así está viendo. Algo. Yo sí he estado viendo que la estaba sacando bastante. Básicamente lo que vamos sí, a hacer es, como hemos estado hablando de los etiquettes, básicamente lo, sí. que, lo que he pedido es que usted me va a elaborar okay, una lista como de reglas de buena etiqueta en la cual usted va, va a decirle o va a, a dirigir a Carla hacia otra empresa, ¿ok? hacia sí. otras sucursales de una empresa que posiblemente formen una alianza con su empresa. All right. So, eh, that's, that's what you gotta do. Básicamente usted le va a dar una lista de cosas a, a, o de etiquettes, de reglas a Carla sobre qué tiene que hacer y qué no tiene que hacer. All right. Como yo ahorita como ejemplo agarré una yo de aquí, be puntual to your office. Ah, ok, cool. No, pero en este caso recuerde que ella va a ir de salida a visitar otra sucursal. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. be puntual, sea puntual, ok, o things like that. Things like that. Have a good presentation. Have a good presentation. Ah, that's another one. Yeah. Yes, es otra. Okay. Bueno, entonces la voy a Pero la voy sería, a ahora. Pero serían serían las seis eh, como positivas y negativas o cómo? No, serían seis eh, entre positivas y negativas. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Ya, ya. De eso de ser, como de ser puntual, sería to be on time. Ajá, uh -huh, like, try to be on time all the time. Es de ser puntual. Ok, let's continue working, ok? Ok. Good. Papá. Hello, ¿cómo vamos acá? Este, no le escucho a la compañera. Le escucho un ruido de fondo. ¿Melania? Probablemente no le escucho a Pero las estoy haciendo por mi cuenta. Mm, no, okay. no, no tengo ruido no, ninguno. Estoy ya en casa. Pero es raro que sí se escucha como un sonido. That's weird. Ok. No, pero en este... Ah. That's weird. Es raro. All right. No, but in this case... Uh, ok, let's remember. Lo único que se va a hacer, Ivania, es como crearle un pequeño manual a Emanuel en el cual usted le va a dar las indicaciones de qué hacer y qué no hacer. Ok. Al momento de visitar una sucursal. All right. From another company. De otra compañía. All right. So that's... Very good. Y Emanuel lo mismo con, con, para usted. Very good. No, sin ningún problema. Entonces se los comparto por el chat. Ahí, en la, la idea. Oh, yeah, if you want. Si usted quiere, puede hacerlo. Ok, ahí vale. Voy a mandar por chat mis ideas. Good. Se puso así, de. Puse de. Oh, be si usually. Uh, de este be usually de... <risa> ah, ahí, no, no, ahí usted pone la otra palabra que quiera poner, porque va a poner be punctually in the meeting está bien, entonces yo puse también esa de, de be ah, usually de, de be, perdón, be usually de de, de, de words de apply, entonces usar las palabras uh -huh. formales ¿verdad? Uh -huh. teacher, está por ahí Pensé que estaba el ticho. Es, estaba, pero se fue. <ríe> Apolay. 
a Polay. Entonces, bueno, yo creo que por ahí creo que estamos, porque usted va a usar de uh -huh. B eh, Punctuality in the meeting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa va a usar? Uh -huh. ¿Qué otra? Eh, había mencionado la de Be Polite when expressing ideas. Hay ¿No? ideas. Pues, no, es, pero, pero son es diferente. Eh, es parecido. Uh -huh. Y las deb debemos anotar. No he anotado la suya. Vaya, yo también, así como dice, de, de, presenta de presentation informally. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero que vamos a hacer la presentación, debe, esa palabra, la palabra para decirle debe, debe ser to be formally. A teacher. Hey, hello. Sorry. Estaba. No se, no se, se me escucha, teacher. La, ya se me iba a apagar la computadora y salí corriendo por, por el cargador. <risa> Ay, que escuché que se conectó, pero dije, ¿Ve? Se, se fue. Dije. Vaya, yeah, man. Ok. De la etiqueta, tengo una duda para decir la palabra, por ejemplo, como usted eh, nos dijo que íbamos a estar en un lugar donde cómo tenemos que comportarnos y cómo íbamos a hacer, ¿es, es correcto? That's correct. Va, ok. Entonces, para darle la idea de presentation, es formal, o sea, para la presentación tiene que ser formal, ¿eso cómo lo puedo poner? De, a mí, pero la presentación, ¿a qué se refiere? La, la, la... la presentación de la vestimenta. Mm. En mi caso, eso es que le decía a Verónica, en mi caso cuando nosotros visitamos o a Another Company, la presentación de, de Punctually, todo eso es bien importante, digamos, porque digo yo que vamos a llegar con la camisa manga hasta por acá, enrollada, todo desbotonado, o informal, entonces todo eso no habla muy bien de uno, entonces ya nos etiqueta Ay, como... Ya, ahí eh, está ya. Uh, ah, uh, uh, the dressing... The dressing code must be formal. The dressing. Ya lo voy a buscar aquí en la demás. Es que solo medio lo vi. The dressing, perdón. Code, code must be formal. Must be formal. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y bueno, prácticamente ya las tenemos. Ah, okay. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál era la otra suya, William? Ah, este le iba a decir, teacher. Este, por ejemplo, be amable, am amable, ¿cómo es la palabra? Kind. K-I-N-D, kind. K-I-N-D. Yes, kind. Yeah. Over here. Pero, be kind. Be, behind, es behind. Pero amable. No, man, like this, be kind. Look, look at the chat. Ah, be kind. kind. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces aquí que, eso es lo que quería poner, be kind de... Y, y la otra palabra, teacher, que suena como amability o algo así. Be kind. O no existe eso. <risa> What? ¿Cuál? Bueno, nosotros la estábamos mencionando. <risa> es que habíamos puesto amability. amability. <risa> ah, Habíamos puesto be amability, pero pensando que era amable, como amable, va. No, pero, pero es no. Ese, ese, ese es amable. Es raro, ah. pero no, 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 por lo general no se usa. No se amality. usa, ah, ok. Por lo general ah, pues, se tiene como amality, eh, pero no, ajá. es como amabilidad. En ese es like. Eh. Ah, ya le entendí mm, esa palabra. Ese es amabilidad. Y este sería amable. Como am Amable, como uno no, amable. This is kind, kind. Be kind. Be kind. Es que esa es la palabra que dice: be kind with another people. Hacer con, amable con las demás personas. Uh -huh. Y en okay. cambio, la, di, di, diga la suya, Verónica, porque esa está también bien, porque le, la que está mencionando usted. Eh... Porque íbamos a, decir, íbamos a decir dos y dos, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Ah, okay, ok. Ok. Ah, eh, ¿cómo así? ¿Cómo así? ¿Cómo dos y dos? Eh, yo, como son cinco, eh, usted, yo le entendí que íbamos a mencionar dos. Ah, usted, le dos a un manual a, usted le va a hacer un pequeño manual a, a Verónica sobre cómo ah. ella va a representarse en la compañía y luego Verónica a usted. O sea, ah, que, pues, teníamos, es que... que sí teníamos que hacer como uno y uno, ¿verdad? Yes. <risa> Es que casi coincidimos en, la, en, las, en, las, en las etiquetas, porque sí, o sea, íbamos es que, interpretando es que, teacher, la... Nosotros lo hicimos así porque nos vamos a unir la empresa de él y la mía, por eso lo hicimos. Ah, bueno. 
viéndolo desde ese punto, pongamos los círculos. Está bien. Con la septi. Vaya, ya nos salvamos, Billy. <risa> Ya me lo voy a de cierto modo. Sí. Vaya, solo escribamos la otra para que nos queden las, las seis ya con la que está ahí escrito. Este. Rico. Hello, how do we go here? Yes, it's... You finish? Yeah. Ah, ok, then let's do, let's do. You have already finished. Let me see. Yeah, I need just to check another group. So let me see to check out the group of math that I have in here. Okay, okay. and you're there. What about? Not that. Hello, guys. You finished? Almost, teacher. Almost. We were thinking how to put it. We already have the idea. Okay. Llevamos cuatro y cuatro ahorita. Son no, seis, ¿verdad? Ok. Son seis, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Ay, qué difícil. Vaya, Bye. dale un Vaya, espérame. Um... No es que como yo. ¿Qué sé? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir. Decir, no masticar chicle en la oficina sería you don't or you must not. Muy cuadrada esa. Sería de... Ajá. Sería you don't or you, or you, you must not. Like this. Don't shoot gums at the workplace. Ah, ok. Vaya, entonces, esa sería la mía, Michelle. Eh, oye. Ok. Esa sería la quinta mía. Vaya. Ahora, usted lleva tres solamente. Pero me estoy pensando. Mm. Hello, ladies. Hola. Hola. Vaya, ya tengo, me corrige si están malas. Ok. Ok. Have a good presentation. To be on time. Not be on the phone. It treat the customer well. Ok. And e be tarry and clean. Limpio y ordenado. Léame eso otra vez, por favor. Be, no sé cómo se dice. Tari. En clean. Lim, tener limpio y ordenado. No sé cómo se dice. ¿Cómo eh, se podría, ¿Podría, por favor, anotarme esta que tiene en el chat? Pero, ¿Ha sido para todos o en específico a usted? Para todos. Ok. Ay, no te Got it? Bye. Es. Eso se refiere a limpio y ordenado. No, se oh, no. más o menos así. Ladies. Be clean and organized. Organized, okay. Y las otras están bien. Okay. 
Be clean and organized. Okay. With that what we have to do. 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 Keep, keep more reports. Listen before I speak. Don't be arrogant with your co-workers. Okay. Say thank you to clients. Mm, okay, good, good ones, man. good ones. Okay, good. Now that you have them, let's go, let's go to the main section because I want to listen to you there. And the rest of the people, of course. Give me one second. Okay. 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 Are you there, people? Hello, what's up with the other ones? Ah, por fin viene. Teacher, va a pasar asistencia. Yes, Ivania. Are you leaving? Yes. Bueno, yo sé que parte, pero no sé con mi mamá porque no, no le escuchaba nada a él. Ah, ok, no problem, Ivania. I, I will take it in consideration. I don't want to put it into attendances, okay? Very good. Now, uh, let me see, Xiomara, who were you working with? You were with uh, uh, Jorge, right? Yes, Jorge. Yes, Jorge. Jorge, Jorge. Yes, Jorge. Yes, Jorge. Yes, Jorge. No. No. Ah, you work with uh, Ivania, right? No, con el manual me tocó. Let's run then. Okay, cool. But I'm going to start with, with you, Ivania, because we're, you're, on, on, you're going to be kind of easy. Okay, uh, can you please read the guidelines of, for a good etiquette that you have? Um, yo hice tres, tres, digamos, positivas y dos negativas. Mm -hmm. uh, bueno. Sería talk about the brands that will work in the company. Nuestra uh, sería establish the day that the export of a season will be carried out. Ah, okay. Um, do not commit. We will not be able to lay on time. Okay. Uh, now to say the procedure that is correct up to a stamp, only to say the process that the artist carry off of in the office. Okay, very good. Ah, okay. no falta una. Uh -huh. Uh, verify the price for each of the samples that will be printed. Uh, okay, very good. So basically, that's the bunch of things that you got, right? Cool. All right. Uh, who, who you said that you were practicing with? Con Emmanuel. Okay, cool. Uh, Emmanuel, are you there? I want you to give your instructions, man. Okay, uh, my instructions are try to speak with the manager with respectful. Mm -hmm. Say the benefits 
directly with all or rules that you try to accept. Okay. Uh, dress formal when you are in the interview with the manager. Really good. And be polite with the new okay. company that you try to accept. Okay, very good. And be polite in your company. Very good, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you to you both. Okay. Xiomara? Let's go, Xiomara. Please use the phone only in emergency. Employee receive, no sé cómo se dice capacitación. Training. Training about industrial security. Solo eso ahí se dice. Ah, okay, okay. Who were you with? Con Jorge. Ah, you are the one with Jorge, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Jorge. Jorge. Oh my God, se nos fue Jorge. Okay, that's okay, Ivani. At, at least you got that, that one. Yours, right? Carla, let's read yours. Okay. Have a good presentation. Okay. To be on time. Mm -hmm. Not be on the phone. Uh -huh. Read the customer will. Uh -huh. He be clients and organized 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 uh, organized organized very good all right so carlos mauricio what was yours thank you be, be punctual okay keep word reports listen be, listen before speaking be arrogant with you, your co work Co-worker, say thank you to kind. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. William. Con Verónica. Okay. Aunque lo hicimos, aunque lo hicimos entre los dos, porque como le explicábamos, habíamos <laughs> mezclamos okay. las dos empresas. All right. Say one and diga la mitad. Ya. Yeah. Mm. La primera, um, be punctuality in the meetings and the dressing call must be formal. Uh, be usually the word polite, be kind, be kind with another people. Y coincidimos en una también que decía be polite, express idea. Mm, okay, be polite, express idea. Pretty important. Okay. That was everything, right? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Hola, Thank hola. You. Gracias a ambos. Yeah, man, I can listen to you, man. Creo que él está fallando al final del internet. Good. Michel, how about you? Sí, me estaba, me estaba fallando ya. <laughs> yeah. eh, con Carlos. Okay, let's go. Eh, to be on time, okay. uh, don't use your cell phone in the office. Okay. Uh, don't bribe alcoholics drink in the office. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. don't, don't smoke in the office. In Carlos, the office. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> la, la primera que me dio Michel fue keep calm. Dice que guardar la calma es keep calm. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. La, la segunda, don't eat in the room, no comer en, el, en la habitación. Okay. Eh, la tercera, no personal calls in the office. Okay. En la cuarta, to be on time. La, la quinta sería, respond all emails, o answer all emails. Ah, ok. La, la última sería, don't say bad words in the office. <laughs> ok, don't say bad words. Ok, very good. 
Yeah, man, it's not that common, but it's, it's essential to write down those ones, right? Okay. Yes. 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 Ella quería decir, no decir groserías en la cocina. Entonces, no llamo cómo poner eso. Ah, entonces, inappropriate words. Ah, thank you. Ok. Ajá. Thank yeah. you. That's the one. Ok, cool. Thank you to you, Michelle and Carlos. All right, so we're going to be ending up with that. Creo que sí, ya son los demás, porque ya los, los demás son, son, son simple oyentes. All right, that's pretty much what we were doing. So, listen up. So, entonces ya queda claro que prácticamente cuando hablamos de etiquette o good etiquette, estamos hablando sobre los diferentes comportamientos que nosotros podemos all right, o tener, ya sea en nuestro lugar de trabajo, en nuestra casa, cuando salimos con amigos o cuando salimos a un lugar determinado, right? So, remember, eh, that's part of your, your behavior. Entonces, es parte de su, remember, es parte de su daily life, por así decirlo, de su día a día. Ok, y es parte de su conducta, ok, como usted actúa. All right, so basically that describes you as a person. Eso lo describe como persona, por así decirlo. Ok, that's pretty much. Now, what are we going to do? I'm going to pass the attendance list because it's time to go to sleep, guys. Ok, let me see. I'm going to start with Andrés Joel. Andres, I don't know if you just got the information in there and put it in, in you fly away, but then at least you will say present. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, very good. Cindy Melanie. I am in Cindy says that she's working. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, nice. Ivania Yamilet. Present. Very good. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay, I'm just not here. Joanna Sarai. All right, let me see. Jorge Alberto. Man, I didn't even heard him. He fly away. Okay. Uh, Jose Edgar. All right, he's going to say present in the, the fire there. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, very good. Julio Cesar. Right now here. Karen Beatriz. All right, she has something to do. She said that. Carla Lisset. Present. All right, very good. Let me see. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Veronica Lee. Present. Okay, very good. Wendy Jamilet. William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Good night. Okay, Mr. Good night. Tomar Elizabeth. I am, she just got disconnected. And uh, Carlos Josue. Oh, all right, very good. Good night. And the last one is just for another challenge, which is not here. Okay, people, listen up. So that was pretty much what we got for, for this class. Tomorrow, we're going to have the, the, you know, video conference, Christine. Mañana terminamos, por así decirlo, la semana tres. Okay, y ya el jueves iniciamos lo que es la semana cuatro. All right. So let's remember, uh, ya para mañana tenemos que tener hasta la tarea 15, okay? Like in there. Uh, I'm gonna be constantly checking to you guys, uh, just, just to remind you to do that, okay? Cool, perfect. Uh, so if there's not anything else to add, I hope you have a wonderful day, okay? I mean, a wonderful night. I'm just starting the day. Cool. I hope you have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. Nos vemos mañana, people. Okay. Bye, bye. bye. Not very good.
All right, so basically, uh, I have finished with the class and because there are a lot of students that were missing into the class, I could not choose one student to provide the feedback, okay? There are a lot of students that did not show up to the class or some of them just were as listeners. So that's why I couldn't choose one specific student. So, porque hay muchos, hay muchas personas que simplemente nos conectamos y están como oyentes y no participan. Y la gran mayoría, prácticamente todos los participantes que tuve, eh, ya han participado en los diferentes de feedback. Y por consiguiente, pues que no, no quisieron quedarse eh, ese día con los 10 minutos de feedback. So, por lo tanto, voy a hablar un poco sobre lo que se está en esta, en esta videoconferencia. Y you no, know, as a feedback a modo de retroalimentación por si eh, los estudiantes que, eh, o bueno, ustedes eh, ven este video, okay, just, just to know about the topic. So today uh, we were discussing about the topic uh, good etiquette. Ese fue el tema de esta videoconferencia en el cual consta de que etiquette no es simplemente cómo nos vestimos, la forma en cómo nos vestimos, sino que prácticamente uh, having a good etiquette means tener buenas, all right, uh, I'm going to say, conductas, ya sea en nuestro lugar de trabajo, nuestra casa, o donde quiera que vayamos. That's part of our, our you know, like, daily life. Y pues, eh, hay cierto vocabulario que podemos utilizar, como thank you, good evening, good night, good morning, please, all right, que es bastante esencial, es un tanto simple pero que sí eh, sirve de mucho el momento de hablar, por así, así decirlo. Ok, so that's why uh, it's important for us, you know, like when we are in our workplace, try to be calm and everything and try to, you know, like share as much as we can eh, because that's what requires this type of topics, like the one that we were discussing to, uh, tonight. Uh, so if you have questions, remember, you can go to the WhatsApp group and in there you can type the question and I am going to be pleased to answer to those questions, you know, uh, at the moment. Okay, cool. So that's going to be everything for uh, tonight. I hope you had a wonderful night. Bye-bye.